Steve are just about as excited as the fans. You love it, Kevin. Preseason is over. Game one, it starts the real season. And yes, you want to get off to a great start. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's Malik Beasley. And there's Davis. And it's Schroeder in at the one spot. James outside. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his first foul. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. The pass to Vanderbilt. And here is James. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. LeBron's got the first bucket of the game with the three for the Lakers. And here's Denver. It's a three-point game. Caldwell Pope outside. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Porter kicks to Gordon. No good from outside. James, the pass to Schroeder. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Davis. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, when we talk about AD as an athlete, a major component to that is his body control, able to adjust off contact to finish the play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he finished last season right around 71% from the line, so not exactly his best percentage. for Anthony Davis, a big contributor to this team when healthy. Kevin A.D. does everything on the court that you ask of him. He can defend in space and guard just about anybody along with being a force on the offensive side. He's a terrific talent. Now here's Caldwell Pope. His last outing had eight points. Can't hit the step back jump shot. High percentage look for him, but bottom line, they're not all going to go down. And the shot goes in. LeBron's got five points so far. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. And just paying attention to the details, it makes great reads offensively. Jokic is so comfortable with the catch and shoot. Now here's LeBron. Last game, 26 points. Almost, but it rolls out. Now, here's Porter. Here's Jokic. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. James kicks it over to Schroeder. Pass to Davis. Good defense by Jokic. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And a chance here to check out some stats on Anthony Davis. Great showing for him last season. He averaged about 23 points per, 10 rebounds and just over two blocks. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. You know what? It's part effort, part instincts. You see teams trying to keep a body or two on him, but that's easier said than done. Now here's Davis. Boy, was he something else against Dallas. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. And back in 2021, Nikola Jokic became the lowest drafted player to ever win the MVP. The 41st pick of the draft, the first second round pick to win the award. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And from second rounder to MVP, Greg, Nikola Jokic. What a story. It, amazing, Kevin. And, you know, one thing the Joker did to transform his game, dedicate himself to his conditioning. Jokic is in much better shape now than when he first entered the league. And the second free throw, good. 
a nightly double-double threat. Jokic is also an exceptional playmaker for a guy that size. Shooter passes to Davis. Gordon against Vanderbilt. Kicks it to James. Shot clock at five. Puts up a three. Beasley right side. And a miss there on the triple. The Nuggets trail by four. Outside Gordon. He dishes it to Porter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, you know, Porter can expect this. Defenses are going to try to be physical with him, try to get in his head. We'll now go to David Aldridge, who spoke with Darvin Ham. David. Well, Kevin, he spoke about the strategy coming in of working the ball inside and emphasizing that throughout the game. That's where they think they have the biggest advantage, and they think they can score inside with consistency. We will see how long that holds up. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. Here's Caldwell Pope following the bucket by the Lakers. Murray for three. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Schroeder outside. Vanderbilt against Gordon. James kicks to Beasley. Good, and the assist goes to James. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. This is why you spend so much time devising ways to space the floor. If you can't, you don't get very far. And here's Caldwell Pope after Malik Beasley made that last three-pointer. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the boards. Now here's Schroeder. His last outing, 16 points for him. Kicks it out to Beasley, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Schroeder. Let's take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. Jokic is second. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? The Nuggets trail by seven. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Schroeder. All alone. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. Schroeder being disruptive on the defensive end. Knocking the ball out and starting the fast break. Jogic finds Caldwell Pope. Murray outside. Six to shoot. Jokic a screen. Murray, good. And the mid-range seeming effortless for Murray. He's got a touch that makes that shot a good option for him. Schroeder against Murray. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Gordon deciding where to go with it. From eight, Murray, no good. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Schroeder outside. Here's James and the dunk by James. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared focus and really jumped on the other team early. Jokic with the bucket. And the touch from deep. Jokic recognizes when he should look to shoot from that area. And such a young, exciting core for the Nuggets. The MVP, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. This group has a chance to be a contender for years to come. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And the Nuggets making a change.
here. Jackson's checked in. Hachimura is checked in for the Lakers. Brown comes in for James. Schroeder, Hachimura setting the pick for Schroeder. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And checking out the stats for Yoki. Last season, he played outstanding. Sixth in scoring, and he ranked in the top ten in assists. An incredible knack for drawing defenders and finding the open man. And looking back at last season, his complete dominance on the boards to rank number two overall. Absolutely remarkable. Now here's Schroeder following the miss by Rui Hachimura. And Beasley, here we go. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. Right out of the gates, they've been in attack mode. And I think that's by design because it has been relentless. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. First free throw is good. And the three-pointer GA has become a focal point of Malik Beasley's game. Uh, yeah, up, up until last season, only about half of his temps were from beyond the arc. Now he's really zeroing in on the long ball as his primary weapon. And both free throws, good for Beasley. And Steve, for a lot of reasons, last year was a very frustrating season for the Lakers. Reason why Kevin, LeBron, and A.D. were out for extended periods. Russell Westbrook didn't really fit in at first. They missed the playoffs. Keep in mind, lots of people picked the Lakers to win it all. Pass to Porter. Porter shot. Connects. The jumper drops. And Jokic with that incredible vision quickly spots the open man. Schroeder against Jackson. Easily outside. No good with the triple. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Jackson passes to Porter. Back to Jackson. It's blocked. Here's Jokic. Hits it despite the hand. Great strong finish. And he'll go to the line for one more. It's on Dennis Schroeder. The Nuggets shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Reeves is checked in. One shot. Free throw. Good. Jokic. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It's simple, Kevin. Make it to the finals. The, the Nuggets have never been there. They've been close reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. Now here's Davis. And the Lakers with another miss. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Bob pass to Gordon. Jokic inside. Davis is up. And it's Gordon finishing it off. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit, but can they get over the hump? This is the tricky part. Having enough left in the tank to finish the job. Now here is Davis. Over Jokic. Goes to the fadeaway and cans it. Davis has got five points so far. Can't forget about Anthony Davis's mid-range game. He's more than happy to take these shots. Jokic kicks to Jackson. 
rebounded by the Lakers. Last game against the Nuggets, they lost in the Mile High City. Yeah, and, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out-rebounded. Reeves gets the bucket. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Denver. Trailing here by eight. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. A different look for Denver. John Charles checked in. And it's Bruce Brown in for Porter. And then for the Lakers, James checked in for Rui Hachimura. And it's Lonnie Walker in for Beasley. Defends the Lakers. They're leading by eight. Walker the pass to Brown. Here's Reeves. 153 left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Davis. That one's not going to go. And it's Denver the other way. Brown dishes to Jackson over James and the Nuggets can't hang on to the ball with the break in the action here is the 2K leaderboard to show us the league's best shooting teams last season the Nuggets in second hard to shoot the ball any better than they did I mean they weren't the best in the league but man they were right there we've got 128 left in the first quarter outside Davis Battles through traffic and lays it in. And now a 10-point Laker lead. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now here's Caldwell Pope. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Yeah, defenses beware. You have to close out hard on KCP and, and disrupt his rhythm. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. For the Nuggets, Ryan is checked in for Jokic, and Murray subbed in for Caldwell Pope. The Lakers also with a sub. Bamba's checked in. LeBron against Jackson. And he drops it in from the low post. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Reeves the pass to James. There's the pick beyond the arc. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. For James, the three ball can look almost effortless. He's just that talented of a scorer. Outside Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from the wing. And Bamba pulls it down. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. James outside. Fires the three. That shot off the mark. And so it's Los Angeles in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. And the three-point shot has been big for him. Back to the action in just a minute. the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and taking a look at Los Angeles's performance here what have they been doing or not doing I mean offensively I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball and defensively boy were they disrupted winning the turnover battle here early on and you see that reflected in the score Lakers leading by eight so the Lakers five right now Walker is out in the wing with LeBron Hachimura out there with Muhammad Bamba. And it's Reeves in at the one. 
Here's LeBron. And it's Denver with the rebound. And here's Jackson. Pass to Chancho. Murray looking around. The pass to Bryant. Let's it go from deep. And it's Murray. That time on the assist by Bryant. Murray's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Denver. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Michael Porter Jr. was a top prospect in his high school class, but his back injury has presented a constant challenge. He says, it changed my perspective. I'm just going to get up every day and try to be better than I was the day before. If I'm giving my best every day, I'm good. Back to you guys. Well, you hope he stays healthy. That has been a concern. Thanks, David. As we know, the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. What's up? And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent, but some guys are well past their prime. James with it. Ten points for him. Passes it to Hachimura. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Hachimura's got his first three points of the game. The passing of LeBron is so special, so talented at finding his wide-open teammates. Bryant finds Murray. The kick out to Brown. Well, now gets need to get a shot off here. Takes a three. That one doesn't drop. LeBron with some nice D. And what do you think GA is the next step for this Lakers team? Uh, coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. Now here's Murray. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Clippers. And even if he took away his points, he was still an offensive force because of his passing. His assist numbers were tremendous. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Brown. James looking it over. Outside, Walker. There's the triple. Chanchard grabs the miss. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Back to Brown. Outside, Jackson. Does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one make. Murray against Walker. Here's Reeves. Nine point game his last outing. Fires from 18. LeBron shot is off. The Nuggets trail by three. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Able to switch gears at a moment's notice. Jackson beating his man off the dribble. Now here's LeBron. He's got 10. Sinks that one from the post. LeBron's got 12 in the game. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Here's Bryant. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Los Angeles calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for the Nuggets. Caldwell Pope comes in for Murray. The Lakers also changing it up. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Bamba. 
Malik Beasley comes in for James. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Walker. Here's Schroeder. It's Beasley on the wing. He's covered by Brown. Beasley against Brown. Just five on the clock. Davis sets a screen. Here's Reeves. Another shot, and it's Davis laying it in. He's got nine. Anthony Davis has been huge on the offensive glass, using his length to get second chance points. Outside Gordon. And it's Bryant at the elbow. Back to Gordon. And Davis sends it back. This is what AD gives you at that end. He's made the all defensive first team multiple times. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And Beasley has the ball here for Los Angeles. Schroeder looking around. Jackson against Hachimura. Pass to Reeves. On its way from Beasley for two. Brown outside. Outside Jackson. Caldwell Pope outside. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Caldwell Pope's got it all tied up now for Denver. Schroeder outside. Pass to Hachimura. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. You have to push Hachimura out of there if you're the defense. He's a real problem on the interior. In the 2020 playoff bubble, some players struggled. Reggie Jackson was one of those guys, but he bounced back in a big way. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Jokic comes in for Thomas Bryant, and Porter subbed in for Jackson. Now here's Beasley. He's got five. And again, the Lakers, no good. And with Jackson Smitty, he went right back to being the player he was back in 21. He was an aggressive attacking scorer with an edge, GA, and the 21-22 season was one of his best ever. Now here's Schroeder. The pass to Hachimura. He kicks it to Davis. Schroeder outside. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And that one is good by Beasley. And Schroeder becoming a more consistent floor general out there. Passes it to Gordon. Gordon with a screen on Davis. And here's Jokic outside. The shot, no good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Pass to Hachimura. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Nuggets. On Tuesday, they'll start out on the road and play the Rockets in Houston. Then on Friday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. The Nuggets trail by three. Caldwell Poe passes to Jokic. This is to Brown, and they double up Brown. Back to Jokic. It's stolen by Davis. Kicks it to Brown. Pass to Schroeder. Now 
Now the pass to Hachimura. Now the dish to Davis. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Beasley. That's tipped. And love the defensive activity from KCP. Selling out there for the block. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And the shot is long. Lakers leading by three. Now Schroeder. Passes it to Hachimura. He dishes it to Davis. Back to Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. Denver calls timeout. Murray's checked in for the Nuggets. The Lakers also with the sub. Vanderbilt's checked in for Hachimura. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. It's a five-point game. Murray outside. Back to Porter. From deep. Rebounded by the Lakers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Beasley kicks it over to Schroeder. Pass to Vanderbilt. Dishes it to Davis. Lock at six. Porter with a block. And you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. LeBron's checked in for Troy Brown. Here's Davis. Sweet move. He takes it up and lays it in. Davis has got 11. The paint is truly AD's domain. He can just power through any opposition. Murray against Schroeder. And here's Jokic outside. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. He's got 13. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. That's to Beasley. And there's the pass to Vanderbilt. On the wing, James. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Oh, what a terrible foul there. The shot clock winding down, and he ends up bailing out the offense with a silly foul. 152 left here in the second. James against Caldwell Pope. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. The Nuggets trail by four. Porter finds Jokic. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And this is why Jokic is an all-star, all-NBA caliber talent. Because of his ability to dominate in an effortless fashion. Now here's Davis. He's got 11. Six to shoot. Nifty move. And the layup is good. Davis has got six points in the quarter. This is the danger Davis possesses to defenses. Capable of erupting at any moment. Jokic kicks to Murray. Shoots over Schroeder. Kicks it out to Gordon. Fires the three. Another three for Denver. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. 
LeBron James on the wing. Shoots it up. And a little luck that time, but it drops. James has got 14 points for the game. Always fun to watch James go off like this. He's getting everything he wants on the offensive end. Polk loose. Schroeder against Jokic. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Vanderbilt the pass to James. Just four to shoot. From deep three-point range, that one no good. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Welcome to our halftime show. Some excellent basketball so far with Denver in a close game. They've been too sloppy with the ball. Coaching staff cannot be happy with all the turnovers. Tough to win when you can't hold on to the ball. And of course, it might help if they had the hands the size of Shaq. And let's focus now on the two opposing guys who were battling in the first half. There were sparks out there. Two guys clearly battling for the spot, both putting on a show. You just hope it doesn't become an all-hero ball. Yeah, it's the scoreboard that decides the real winner in the end. That's pretty profound on my part, don't you think? Yes, it does. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. Basketball 101, you've got to put a body on him. Unfortunately, that's a fundamental that's gone by the wayside. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guard. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in its center. And it's Porter in at the three. That's the group for Michael Malone getting going here in the second half. And night in and night out, you, you can always count on Jokic to bring it. He, he is a special, special talent. Here's LeBron, Vanderbilt, and the dunk by Vanderbilt. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Outside Gordon. He kicks to Murray, and James picks up the foul. That's his first foul, and we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Hits it from three-point range. Gordon's got eight points. They'll be with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Greg, looking at the shooting numbers of Michael Porter Jr., they're off the charts. I mean, his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. was top 20 in field goal percentage, top 10 in three-point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6-10 win. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding, has been the one differentiator thus far. Caldwell Poe pass to Gordon. Porter with it. Right wing. 
Fades away. Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's the teardrop, and it's blocked by Gordon. Yo, I wouldn't test Gordon with that vertical and lift. Please try someone else. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's Schroeder. And look at how well Jokic uses that size defensively there with a great contest on the shot. Murray kicks to Gordon. Porter looking it over. Gordon finds Murray. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Schroeder. The putback. Well, that's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. James against Caldwell Pope. And again, no good by the Lakers. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Murray against Schroeder. Back to Jokic. Out left of the wing. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist in this one. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Now here's LeBron. 16 points for him. They need this, and he sinks the layup. James has got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Inside, James can really carve the defense apart. His strength makes him such a tough cover. Jokic against Davis. Feeds to Murray. Outside for Caldwell Pope. And here's Jokic outside. Vanderbilt with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Lakers shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. And that one misses. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. And Paul Ralpo gets the basket. Oh, a fantastic passer at his position. Gordon stays alert and ready to pass to an open teammate. Now here's LeBron. 18 points for him. Here's Davis. It counts. And the foul. It's going to be on Jokic. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. And you also have to applaud how they've attacked the interior in this game. A lot of points happening for them in the paint tonight. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Now here's Murray. He's got eight. Back to Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got five assists tonight. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And the Lakers call time here.
looking now at some numbers for James. Coming off a terrific season. Last season put up about 30 points a game, eight rebounds, and six assists. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. You know, mentally, he's a pass-first type of player. It gets everyone involved and engaged, and that really sparks this offense. The Lakers have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Trying to get open as Davis gets the bucket and the foul. That one on Caldwell Pope. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. 76% from the line a season ago. Free throw good, LeBron. Well, we know we're in the later stages of his career, but Steve, it's just simply incredible, mind-boggling really, how athletic LeBron James remains. Kevin, to put it frankly, we've never seen anything like this. He's still getting up with ease for some vicious throwdowns. A testament to how hard he works. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And there have been some to compare Porter to Kevin Durant. Really a fluid shooter who also possesses amazing athleticism. Now here's LeBron. He's got 21. Vanderbilt kicks to James. Vanderbilt setting the pick for LeBron. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Murray the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. These teams were last season's best passers. The squads with the most assists in the NBA. The Nuggets third. Distributing the ball is so important in this game. If you don't move the basketball, your team will ultimately not be successful. Bottom line. Caldwell Pope against James. And James throws it down. Rising up with force once LeBron takes flight. Just get out of his way. Passes to Jokic. In the corner, it's Gordon. Porter kicks to Murray. For three, Caldwell Pope. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. James dishes to Davis. Schroeder outside. Pass to Beasley. Down to five on the shot clock. Vanderbilt, a screen on Caldwell Pope. And it's sent back by Jokic. And check out Jokic using not just his width, but also the timing. And the offensive player better think twice next time. Now here's Gordon. Eight points for him. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. He is just going all out right now, loving the MJ impersonation, hanging in the midair and still hitting the shot. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep, just dropping triple after triple. After spending his first seven years in Orlando, Aaron Gordon traded in 2021, going from the Magic, a team out of the playoffs, to a team chasing a title. Timeout called the Lakers.
for Los Angeles. They've gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far, just above 50%. And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando, Greg, how'd you think that deal worked out for him? Kevin, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon, taking on more of a complimentary role and getting more big game experience. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Denver calls timeout. And the Nuggets with some changes. John Charles checked in. And it's Brown in for Murray. The Lakers also with a sub. Reeves is checked in. Denver's gone three to five with the long ball since entering the second half. Brown the pass to Jokic. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And so Brown will bring it up for the Lakers. They've led by as many as 11 points. And here's Schroeder. He has seven. Vanderbilt the pass to Schroeder. Shoots over Brown. And it's Schroeder missing. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Brown the pass to Chancho. His first shot coming late. Here's Reeves, guarded by Porter. On the wing, Brown. Pass to Vanderbilt. Lakers passing it around. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Schroeder. A three-pointer off the mark. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Caldwell Pope kicks to Porter. Brown against Schroeder. Caldwell Pope outside. 11 feet away, and the jumper is good. Caldwell Pope's got five points now this quarter. And truth is, I like what the defense does there, but KCP with the high release undeterred. Shooter passes to Davis. It's tipped. Jokic with the steal. Caldwell Pope on the wing. 11 points in the game. Here's the pass to Porter. Fades back. The shot missing. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Schroeder with the ball. He has seven. Brown outside. Passes it to Jokic. There's the dish to Caldwell Pope. He feeds it to Porter. That one falls. Porter's got 10 points in the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Vanderbilt. He dishes it to Davis. Vanderbilt the pass to Reeves. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Porter, bounce pass. Jokic with his screen on Schroeder. Over in the corner, Caldwell Polk. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. 
pitch to Vanderbilt. And again, the Lakers no good. The Nuggets leading by three on the pass to Caldwell Pope. Now Porter shoots over Schroeder. Anthony Davis with the rebound. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Schroeder with the ball. Now defended by Jokic. And it's Davis missing. Denver's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Porter kicks to call well Pope. Pass to Jokic. That shot is good. He's taken 15 and made 10 from the field tonight. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. Schroeder outside. Pass to Davis. And that one released in time, but no good. The third quarter comes to a close. The Nuggets on top. Ending the third quarter with a 13-5 run. We've got more in store for you right after this. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in score for us. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Anthony Davis is out there with Hachimura. Then it's LeBron James. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Reeves in at the point. Now here's Jackson following the miss by Jamal Murray. From the arc, Jackson misses. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And stolen by LeBron. Over Murray. Count it. And the Nugget lead has been cut down now to just three in the basket from LeBron. What we can't talk about enough with LeBron, the tremendous body control. You see it there on the pull-up. And he'll get slings it in. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants Oh, to. you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's Beasley. Davis setting the pick for Hatchimer. Just five to shoot. Off target from outside. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. Their next game is at the Rockets Arena in Houston for a game with the Rockets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Brown wide open. He fired. Good. And the assist goes to Jokic. Brown's got the lead up to eight now for the Nuggets. LeBron outside. Shoots over Brown. James with the bucket. LeBron's got 27 points. Got to be more aware of LeBron from these in-between spots. He's money from there. Jackson passes to Jokic. Dishes to Murray. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. One of the stars of the 2020 bubble playoffs, Jamal Murray. I mean, remember, he had a 50-point game, and Murray averaged over 26 points, helped Denver make it to the Western Conference Finals. We saw Jamal take his game to another level in Orlando. The first free throw is good.
And so he makes both from the line. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Lakers trail by eight. LeBron outside. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The power of LeBron, even if you try to give the hard foul, he'll go right through you. free throw no good I mean one of the greatest players of all time LeBron just continuing to add to his legacy just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth Some nice passing here by Los Angeles four on the clock Here's Davis off the mark with the outside fadeaway. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Murray dishes to Brown. Davis against Bryant. He kicks it to Murray. Bryant trying to free himself up. Murray, no good. Lakers trail by six. James outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And such a physical player inside. LeBron doesn't fear contact on the way up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, James. So both teams making some changes here. And both free throws good for LeBron. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now, here's Jokic. Gordon finds Murray. Now Brown. There's Jackson with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Nuggets lead by seven. You love the balance from Reggie Jackson. Generate more power in the catch and shoot. From 13, LeBron, no luck. For Denver, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. How about the strength of Murray finishing the shot off easily, even with the harm? Some changes for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Bamba. Vanderbilt comes in for Hachimura, and Dennis Schroeder subbed in for LeBron. throw good Murray there's Schroeder pass to Vanderbilt trying to find Schroeder gets it to him easily for three the shot's good on the assist by Schroeder Schroeder's got four assists now tonight the Nuggets leading by seven the pass to Jokic. Kicks to Jackson. It's deflected. Here's Schroeder. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Kicks it out to Schroeder. 
for Murray. And a shooter missing. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Back to Murray. The three. The Nuggets with another miss. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Easily the pass to Schroeder. Jazz to Vanderbilt. Over Jokic. Vanderbilt misses. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. They've led by as much as 10. The dish to Gordon. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Rebound the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Schroeder against Murray. Pass to Vanderbilt. Jokic with the steal. Upside Jackson. In the corner, Murray with it. And here's Brown outside. Connects from three-point range. Brown's got the lead up to 10 now for the Nuggets. Now here's Schroeder. Outside, Davis. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The contact there can't stop AD. His size helps him get to his shot. A different look for Denver. Michael Porter comes in for Brown. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Reggie Jackson. LeBron, he's checked in for Los Angeles. One shot. You know, it's so many things AD can do on the floor to help your team win. Denver leading by seven. Murray, the pass to Jokic. He dishes it to Caldwell Pope. The kick out to Porter. Shot clock at six. I'm deep. Shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Lakers trail by seven. Here's Beasley. And that one goes out of bounds. It's touched by Porter. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. LeBron against Caldwell Pope. Over Caldwell Pope. And the Lakers with another miss. Denver leading by seven. The pass to Jokic. Vanderbilt against Gordon. Dishes it to Murray. Five on the clock. Passes it to Porter. The tray. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. James outside. Driving in. Oh! oh. oh okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. Outside Gordon. He kicks it to Murray. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Dennis Schroeder. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Thank you. 
Free throw, good, Murray. The Lakers making a switch here. Reeves is checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. I love how hard he's playing, really since the break. All the defense can do at this point is foul him. Now Schroeder has to Vanderbilt. Kicks to Davis. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. The Nuggets leading by 10. Caldwell Poe passes to Jokic. Quarter in the corner. Murray for three. Denver with a new 14. Gordon with the screen for Caldwell Pope. The Nuggets with another miss. And it's still a close game. I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. James against Caldwell Pope. LeBron kicks it over to Schroeder. Lock at six. Over Murray. It's hauled in by Gordon. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong. Yet... Yeah. The opposite happened. Davis against Jokic. Murray outside. Pass to Gordon. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Gordon's got the lead up to 12 now for Denver. Not one to shy away from contact. It's all part of the toughness that Gordon brings to the table. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting two. Free throw good, LeBron. Bruce Brown. He's checked in for Aaron Gordon. And both free throws good for LeBron. Here's Murray. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. There's the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. On the wing, Porter. Second shot opportunity. In deep, Jokic drops it in. Jokic has got four points now in the quarter. Such a savvy player. Love watching Jokic battle for positioning on the offensive glass. Over to the left wing. Leaves the pass to Vanderbilt. Six on the shot clock. A pointer brings it from beyond the arc. Schroeder's got it back down to within single digits for Los Angeles. Caldwell Poe passes to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Round kicks to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Porter. Back to Caldwell Pope. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Pass to Davis. There's the three. And another three for the Lakers. This just in. AD is not going to buckle up and fold. He's unafraid of the moment. Denver calls timeout. They're leading by six. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, guys, when Mike Malone talked to his team during that last timeout, 
He told his team, if we can get some defensive stops here, we can win this game. It's down to who wants it more. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Brown with a screen on Schroeder. Pass to Jokic. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And for the ball is out of bounds. Vanderbilt touched it left. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball. And he did that. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Forty-three seconds left to play here in the fourth. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. Now here's Davis. Good! And now they trail by just four. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them at a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're ahead by four. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. This free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. It's both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Yeah, and he just garnered a little bit more insurance there. Very confident that he's able to go up and knock those down. And the Lakers call time here. They're behind by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Timeout called the Lakers. They're down by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. against Caldwell Pope and Davis wide open he shoots it drops what a beautiful shot to bring him to within three really taking advantage of every scoring opportunity they've somehow found a way to make this thing exciting the offensive rebound it's it out to Schroeder to tie it up can't get the three to fall for three right between the eyes a tremendous three to tie it up that's why Dennis is so special. Tremendous poise when the game... Oh, he missed! 
the Nuggets taking the W in a close one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And, and there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Nicola. What are you able to do that allows you to impact the game so dramatically? I don't know what is happening, but I'm playing good. The team is playing good. Uh, like we're kind of clicking it. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For David Alder, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Holland saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.